Olá, eu sou a Letícia, diretora da Ebrain, e eu estou aqui para trazer para vocês mais um Conversa de Mercado. Dessa vez nós estivemos em São Paulo, no Smartus PropTech Summit, e conversamos com 18 pessoas que atuam em diferentes áreas no mercado imobiliário. A conversa está bastante rica e vale a pena conferir. So, uh, Mike, first, first of all, thanks for, for accepting our invitation here. You just told me it's your first time in Brazil. First time. So welcome, welcome yeah. to Brazil and Happy welcome to, to, to Smart PropTech Summit. It was really nice having you here and it, I, I, it's really nice what JLL is doing about PropTech and, and, and the engagement. So would you like to introduce yourself, Absolutely. talking a bit more about your role in JLL and, and how is this innovation going there? Absolutely. Yeah, and, and thank you for the invite and it's a pleasure uh, to, to be here. Um, my, my role with JLL is I'm an executive director with our digital solutions organization, which is part of Corporate Solution. Corporate Solutions provides out, outsourced real estate services, um, different from the more um, property investment side of JLL. So our clients are corporate clients who are managing their own real estate. But the big push that they're um, in now and the drive that they're in now is how to effectively bring digital into that operating model. So with digital solutions, um, what we're doing is to advise, implement and manage technology and data solutions for our clients. And it's becoming more and more important that they uh, you know, get a grasp on what, what this technology roadmap looks like, right? In an industry that has gone really decades without advancing so much in technology. It's now, uh, you know, our eyes are all w wide open to the fact that if we don't, if we don't motivate change soon, that um, certainly the industry and all the disruption we see around us is only getting it worse. So our, our group works with, and me specifically with clients, um, some of our largest enterprise clients to really help them navigate that digital transformation journey. Perfect, that's great. And And I'm curious to know about more like, um, what is the kind of innovation that the clients more ask you? Right. I mean, what's, what's the, the, the greatest demand you had? Like? Yeah, so, um, you know, it, it certainly varies client to client. Some clients are super focused on leading edge, even bleeding edge uh, solutions. They, wanna, they want the shiny objects, the things that are, you know, show, show their leadership and show that their, their employees, that, that they're advancing, right? Um, that's that's anything from the, the realm of ex, you know experience apps and and bringing in new smart building and technologies and things like that. Um, but the majority of our clients are really at the beginning of the of understanding what they want out of technology. Um, they all know they want bigger and better data solutions because they know they have all of this data, but the data is not really telling them much yet. Um, and and to that point, they don't have a lot of transparency in the way that they operate, driven by data which is there and it's available. We just um, as I said, we haven't advanced as an industry fast enough in some of these key areas. What JLL has done with our red product is kind of keep peace with that, but every client situation is different. So um, back to your question and answer specifically, kind of the top three areas of focus have been in human experience applications specifically, and think about that as mobile applications. How do we connect the workplace through the mobile device that we all use so frequently in our lives? Um, that's a big drive right now. Um, the second one is in uh, IoT and smart buildings. So as the buildings become more connected, um, the goal is then to connect them to the employees better so that they can again- Which is connected to the experience, app. Experience, which is connected to the app, exactly. Right. And then finally, just how do, we, how do we start advancing our data and analytics to be get better, to really drive operational excellence through performance management and those type of capabilities that, um, fr frankly, we're not doing all that well today, even the, the bigger enterprises. Nice, right. And, and uh, about the app, you showed us a video mm -hmm. on your presentation yeah. about about the app. What's right. the app? Our, our app is, um, so we have several different ways that we approach um, an actual solution mm -hmm. conversation with a client. Um, The one that I showed today was our um, JLL Experience app, which is powered by Moto Enterprise, built by Moto Labs. So Moto is a partner with JLL in the industry, and they bring what is an industry-leading um, enterprise integration platform for mm -hmm. building experiences like I just talked about. No. Right. So what Moto does is um, they connect the enterprise components. Uh, if you think about 
room reservations and cafeteria menus and security access points, those things that are more of the enterprise, enterprise integration platform. Um, and then, of course, they bring in the social media aspects and weather and nice to have items which like that. Which will connect build, the, the, the environment. And true, the which really just builds that connected that experience that can keep people engaged, the, right? Our, our goal with that is to, is, is there a way that we can drive a workplace application that can give you everything at your mm -hmm. fingertips that you need to do your work well, right? Um, that day in a seamless manner. And that's the one we talked about today. Um, and there, there are many other, other options that are out there for depending on the very specific outcome that the client is. And, and how is the, the acceptance on all this app? The, it's which, been, which, which company are, is already using it? Which, which, many, who is already using Many companies are using the Moto platform. About 300, um, they have about 300 clients. 300 um, clients. Yep, and wow. we, JLL, have brought our experience app into um, another probably 10, 15. Our, our relationship with Moto is in the beginning stage, mm -hmm. um, but we're already seeing a tremendous infusion of you know, just need from our client base, wanting more and more and more of it. It's just, a, we, we start the conversation with mm -hmm. what type of experience and what are the outcomes you're trying mm -hmm. to drive. And then that leads us to what this optimal integration platform can provide. Nice. And uh, in terms of regions, which regions you think is more, is more, is using PropTech more and more right now? I mean, US, we have yeah. Europe, we see a lot of uh, talks about prop techs right. in Europe. We, we see a lot of prop techs talks in yep. US and in Brazil, it's starting now. Yep. I mean, even the, the terminology of prop tech in Brazil, it, it kind of has some misunderstanding with construct tech, yep. which is more related to the construction yep. part of the, exactly. of the, of the building. So uh, who is in, in the front? I mean, yep. who is number one in, in prop techs and users? Yeah, I mean, the, my, the way that I am seeing it, is it's certainly a global demand. Um, certainly some regions are not advancing as fast, just strictly due to budget constraints or whatever kind of drives in that specific region. But everywhere we're seeing, where we're seeing emergence of m massive solutions in the US and Europe and, and even APAC to that region, we're seeing a lot of more point-based solutions start to pop up everywhere, including the Latin American region. Um, India is a great example of that, where they're almost forced um, given some of their constraints to, to build um, to build prop tech kind of within, right? So I think we're seeing that regionally and the goal should be for us to figure out how we pull all of that together because there are some really great things emerging globally due to regional demands that are so translatable to some of the problems we're trying to solve in the U.S. as an example, or in Europe, and or more, you know, established markets from that perspective of prop tech. That's that's great. And um, talking about IoT a little bit, so yeah. how is there really the process of of using or implementing IoT on, on the buildings that JLL takes uh, yeah. place? I mean, do you guys test it first? Do you have like connections with some startups on this ecosystem, or do you guys really develop the the the, the solutions by yourselves? Um, we are developing some solutions. Um, the majority of our strategy uh, centers around finding kind of best in class industry partners who are well established mm -hmm. um, and also emerging, right? So I mentioned our JLL Spark venture um, or in my presentation today and what JLL Spark is doing is really what you just described is they're, they are they are finding the best of the best out there, the ones that JLL mm -hmm. is willing to invest money and capital in these startups and they can move so fast. Right. It doesn't mean we're always going to 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 find um, the winners, right? So mm -hmm. that, that's yeah. what that's what venture uh, capital is all about. But they are finding some some really great uh, companies up and coming. Um, for instance, is one of those in the IoT realm. Um, occupancy detection is is so popular right now. We've invested in that company, and now we are translating that into our products as well. So we take JLL Spark and some of their ventures, and then we are able to bring some of those products much faster to our clients. So, so you guys are developing internally, and you guys are also investing in companies or startups that has some right. kind of synergy. And I suppose that it's perfect because uh, they have JLL as their li live right. lab. So they can test, they can do proof of concept with right. you guys and, and, exactly. and, and helping the, the, the product to, to, to get better, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we find it, you know, we, we do want to build those solutions that are um, truly uh, market disruptive, differentiation mm -hmm. type of items. Um, but we do have a buy, build um, and an and invest partner um, strategy, right? Where we're, we're open to all of those paths. And then today we have 
different solutions that follow each of those paths. Um, and, and that's the, the benefit of being, a, you know, we call ourselves a, a technology company that focuses on real estate, right? We got a lot of real estate domain knowledge and expertise and data yeah. um, and channels to the market and customers already. And our clients want this innovation. So what we need is more help to build that ecosystem of solutions. And we're, we're looking to partners to do that. And we're right. developing our digital organization mm -hmm. around making that happen. Um, you know, however that that uh, channel to get to the to market with those products ends right. up being. Uh, Great. Talking about the the main topics we're going to discuss here today. Uh, what's your in your point of view? Which which one is the big bet? I mean, yeah. if you had to choose like blockchain, virtual reality, augmented yeah. reality, or uh, right. crowdfunding, or we're going to discuss many topics here during yeah. the day. So, which one is your? If you yeah, had to put a million dollars, which one would you choose? <laughs> Um, I'll, I'm going to I'm going to start with kind of the easy answer um, and where I focused ahead uh, my presentation on is those things are very important. Everything that you mentioned is is on, on the way to becoming maybe next year. Mm -hmm. Ask me the same question. It would be a different answer. But no, I think right now um, globally, we've got to truly focus on the getting getting used to the human element mm -hmm. in our digital strategies for real estate right so moving away from what has been a really physical physical asset management industry into something that is truly customer driven now right so mm -hmm. how do i how do i make sure that the people in the space want to be there can be their most productive and want to come to work there in the first place mm -hmm. right and we're seeing as these newer generations are entering the workforce they care deeply about where they want to where they work mm -hmm. right and it's not all about the physical space. It's a little bit about that, yeah. but it's also about the feeling they get in the space. Um, you know, the healthy, healthy, mm -hmm. how the healthy they feel when they're in the space, all those things, right. That, that we're used to considering now outside of our work life. Okay. So my big bet would be on, um, anything in the technology realm that's going to increase the human connectedness of the workplace. Okay. So, Mike, thanks, thanks again. Absolutely. And uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks yeah. for, for accepting the invitation and hope to see you here during the entire day. Thank you. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Thank you. Bye-bye.